Hello everyone, this is Pastor Kenny Lee coming to you with another day's daily devotional in our Advent series. I hope that as you have gone through um, this last couple of weeks and as we begin to wade into this third week of Advent, that God has spoken to you, that you have felt yourself um, more prepared for Christmas and more prepared for the coming of the Christ child and in um, certainly more prepared for the second coming of Jesus. As we um, enter into this space together, I invite you to enter into a spirit of prayer with me. Let us pray. Holy God, we do indeed, as your children, gather here, Lord, out of love for you and love for one another. We pray, O oh God, that your Holy Spirit, that perpetual giver of life, Lord, the, the one who brings about change in the world and in each of us, Lord, that you would open our ears to hear what you would say to us. Lord, that you would open our hearts in order that we might hide your word in our hearts, that we might not sin against you, and that you would open up our lives in order that other people might see the light of Christ in us. For it's in his name we pray. Amen. Our text today comes to us from the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verses 1 through 4. These are the words of Jesus. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may also be. And you know the way to the place where I am going. This is the word of God for us, the people of God, to which we respond, thanks be to God. This passage of scripture in the context that is written is part of Jesus' farewell discourse with his disciples, a time when he begins to teach them in depth and in a very, um, in a very compact, concise period of time, he conveys the last of his earthly teaching, the last of his ministry and instruction to his disciples. And in this text, we hear Jesus telling us, telling his disciples then, telling his disciples now that he is about to return to the Father, that he is going to return to the glory of heaven that he laid aside to become humanity, God with us. And Jesus tells us specifically, and we often hear this text read at um, celebrations of lives and memorials, we hear Jesus tell us that he goes to prepare a place for us so that where he is, we may be also. If we look at this scripture and listen closely, especially in the context of yesterday's Matthew reading, where Jesus um, plainly tells us that there's going to come a time when he returns and that people who love the Lord, who know the Lord, who are living for God, will be taken up to meet him in the air. Certainly this text is a reminder to us that Jesus has in fact gone to prepare a place for us. That is, it is that kingdom of God not made with human hands, but wrought by the hands and the knowledge and the plans of the Almighty. And that where Jesus is, his servants will be as well. Um, I've discussed at some length with folks in our local congregation about God's plan where life begins and ends in a garden, about God's plan when he creates a new humanity from what is from he recre he creates a new uh, the earth and the cosmos from what already is and then comes and makes his home with man and and this is a different perhaps understanding of heaven than what we grew up with but certainly is a very biblical grounded biblically grounded understanding of heaven and so as we consider today's text i want to invite you to consider what it is that god is saying to you that, that he is telling you again freshly today that he's preparing a place for you, a place where you will be perpetually in God's presence, doing and fulfilling your role that you were created for in, within the universe. I want to thank you for sharing this time with us today. 
I hope that you've heard God speak to you and that you continue to listen as today goes on. Thanks again for sharing this time with us. This is Pastor Kenny signing off today.